Hi, this is Live Rx, Jay and Andrew, and we're going to show you the super technique which is going to help you with the posterior chain. And uh, if you're sitting at the computer desk a lot and start uh, hunch forward, you do a kyphosis, this is the great technique uh, for massage therapists. And you can try to do to your uh, relatives, to your friends, to your family. Okay, so so many people sitting at the desk right now because the COVID-19, we're stuck in the houses. Most people work from home now. Hours and hours and hours spending by computer. So what's happening, we start drop down. The thoracic area, we lose the mobility. With that technique, we're gonna show you how to release this. So we use the simple bench from Ikea, $29. You can buy a specific bench, it's like $300. It's called uh, a Rolfing, Rolfing or, yeah, Rolfing bench. So when we get the bench, we ask the client sit down on the edge of the bench. Uh, the hand, the legs is gonna be, uh, yep, on on the hips, and we're gonna place the arm with the elbow right on that uh, thigh muscle, on your quadriceps. Make sure you explain all this uh, positioning for your to your customer. Now we're gonna teach our customer what to do in this uh, technique. We're gonna ask our customer slowly bend head first and tuck tuck the chin close to the sternum and go a little bit further. Now we use thorax area, thoracic, and go all the way down with lumbar. So you, you're teaching how to use that spine, how to activate all those muscles around, and we're gonna help him. So we're gonna, when we're gonna reach that final point when the person can't go, we're gonna ask him to bend to the side, to the left, and bend to the right. And you see the arms sometimes comes up, make sure his arm is not coming out. So now, we're gonna apply the pressure and slowly ask him to get up from this position. Slowly stop those vertebra, vertebra by vertebra. Start with the lumbar area. Now make sure the neck is not coming first, the, the, the chest is coming first. So chest is coming up and now after neck is coming up. So always make sure the customer tuck the chin down. So here we go. You can use your elbow, you can use your fist. I start with my fist because yeah, if you if the client is a bigger person and you smaller, so I will probably stand on the bench and ask to start bending forward. And this is posterior chain, help with the computer, upper traps, release all those tight muscles, longissimus and spinalis, and here we go, stop right there a little bit, so I'm going down, and now I can use my elbow. Make sure you're not going on the spine, you're most going on this laminar groove, and you're not pushing on the uh, ribs. You can use the, your elbow leaning, and it's as hard, so I don't want to bend more. I start using my knuckles again. My knuckles, my fist, and I go all the way down. Don't use a lot of lotion. Yeah. And now, when we get to this position, we're going to ask Andrew to bend to the side, to the right, and to the left. What I'm doing here, I place my hand on that uh, sacrum and try to activate and stretch those lumbar muscle. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna stop doing this. Slowly we're gonna ask to stop those vertebrae back like we've been discussing in the beginning. Slowly, slowly, slowly stack them up, lower, go all the way up. Neck is to stay down. Make sure his chest comes up, breathe, and now neck is coming in. So in this case, you help him again. And you do this three, four times, let me, and you'll see the result. It's really great technique, it's really powerful and strong, so be careful, don't push so hard. Don't push on the rib, don't push on the vertebra. Sometimes you feel a little pop. Don't be afraid, this is the, what's, the, what's happened to those faucets is get locked. The uh, spinal process get locked back. This is the key. Uh, so do this technique. Watch our channel. Enjoy, enjoy the therapy.